why people don't accept Jesus. Yes, why people don't accept Jesus. Ten reasons. He speak the truth about who, who he is in, in, on the earth. Number two, he speaks about his purpose. Number three, he speaks of the plan of salvation for mankind. Now, those are three foundation, like the Jonah 10 foundation of why people don't accept Jesus. Do you accept him? Hey, glory to God. Number one, glory to God. They are student of the scripture. Hey, yes. Number one, glory to God. If you accept Jesus Christ, you become a student of the scripture. The Bible say in 831, then said Jesus to those Jews who believe on him, if ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples. That's number one. Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. Ten reasons why people don't accept Jesus. Number two, Jesus said, he is the bread of life. Go to God. Yes, Jesus is a bread of life. When Jesus Christ said that in, in St. John, the 8th eighth chapter, the 6th chapter, they looked and said, Is this Mary? Uh, and his mother name is Joseph? And his mother name is, is Mary? And his father name is Joseph? How can this man say he's the bread of life? I'm so glad they asked that question because Jesus Christ said, Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believes on me shall never thirst. Hey, so he's the bread and he's the water. Hey, glory to God. Number third reason, Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. And he said, he is the I am. And the Bible says that how they say, Jesus Christ, you know, you're even 50 years old. How can you say, before Abraham is, I am. I'm so glad to ask Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ said, Jesus said to them, verily, verily, true, true, I said to thee, before Abraham was, I am. And the Bible says, then they took up stone to cast at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. So Jesus Christ said, I am. Ten reasons why people don't accept Jesus. Because Jesus Christ, my friend, glory to God, he's told the people, that if you will continue in my word, then you are my disciple. And Jesus Christ said, I am the bread of life. And Jesus Christ said, I am. Glory to God. Before Abraham was, I am. And number four reason, Jesus Christ is the door. Yes, Jesus Christ is the door. He's not the back door. He's not the window. But he's the D-O-O-R. The door. The deliverer. The, the, the open heart. I'm the present and the righteous one. That's the door. And Jesus Christ is the door. He said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter him, he shall be saved. And he shall go in and out and find pasture. He, so he's the gate, my friend. If you don't come through the gate, if you go through the door, you are lost. And you are thief. And you are robbers. He said, many came, but the, but the, the sheep did not hear their voice. Fifth reason, Jesus Christ is the resurrection and he's the life. Yes, he's the resurrection. He was, he's the one going to lift us from earth to heaven. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. In, in John, the 11th chapter, verse 22, I feel like preaching. Glory to God. Jesus said unto, him, unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believed on me, though he were dead, he shall live. So Jesus Christ is the get up. He's the life. If you have not Jesus, you are dead. You are a zombie. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Number six reason. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Yes, he is the light. He's the light that shines into dark places. He is the light that sits upon a hill that cannot be healed. He is the light. When he comes, he will expose sin. Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followed me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Hey, I'm so glad that Jesus Christ is the light of my life. 
Hey, glory to God. Number seven for you, son. Jesus Christ, the good shepherd. What? He's the good shepherd. He's not like these flim flam pastors. He's not a, a hurling. He is a good shepherd. He say in John 10, verse 11, he say, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giving his life for the sheep. I'm so glad. Thank you, Jesus, for giving your life for me and for others that's viewing this video. Hey, glory to God. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man, but in thereof is the way of death. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ is divine. Hey, glory to God. He's mine and he's yours. He is divine. He say in, in, in John the 15, 5, he say, I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abide in me and high in him, he shall bring it forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. So I'm so glad, my friend, we have relationship with the vine. Christianity is a word religion. But Christian is a relationship. He glory to God. And the tenth reason, Jesus Christ prayed to the Father. In Arabic Bible, in the plain English, say, But these things are eternal. They shall know you, for you only are the, the God of truth, the Yahshua, the Messiah whom you have sent. And Thomas Confess of Jesus Christ and say, John 20, chapter verse 28, he said, And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. So I'm saying to you, as watching this video, for the few minutes I have left, do you accept Jesus as your personal Savior? Do you accept Jesus Christ as your relation, as a relationship with him? Do you accept Jesus Christ as your only hope in this world? Because Jesus Christ, he is the savior of the universe. Jesus Christ is God. In the beginning was the word and the world with God and the world was God. The same in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. Without him was nothing made. Jesus Christ is God. And if you accept him as being divine, if you accept him as being a good shepherd, if you accept him as being the way, the truth, and the life, as you accept him as being a door, if you accept him by becoming the great I am, if you accept him become the light of the world, if you accept him by continual word, then you are the disciples. Do you accept Jesus Christ in your life? I'm asking you to accept Jesus Christ before the clock stop ticking. Before you take your last breath, give your life, give your legion, give your love to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is your only hope. Ha -ha -ha. Hey, hallelujah, he's your only hope, sister. Brother, brother, He's your only hope. Jesus Christ can save you. I know you did some bad things. But Jesus Christ is the savior of your lost soul. Hallelujah. I stopped by to tell somebody that's out there that looking for a savior. Don't look no more. Jesus Christ said, come unto me, all he that ever laid it, and I will give you a take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Because I'm meek and lowly of heart, you shall rest unto your soul. My, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He said, casting all your cares upon, all your anxiety upon him because he cared for you. Jesus Christ care for you. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Jesus Christ cares for you. And I'm asking you, I'm pleading to you to Give your life to the Lord of your soul. Give your life to the one that 
died from the sixth and ninth hour. He said, Eli, Eli, lama sanakadai, which means, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? But I'm so glad he didn't come down. I'm so glad that it pierced the, the the, the, the rod at the side and blood and water came down. The blood represent the remission of your sin and the water represent we must be baptized in our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Have you been baptized? Have you received the gift of the Holy Ghost since you believe? The Holy Ghost is your keeping power. The reason why you can't stop sinning. Let me take a secret. The reason why you stop, you can't stop sinning. Because you have not received the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is your keeper. You might have religion. You might attend church. But the Holy Ghost, as I come closer to you, the Holy, let me tell you something. The Holy Ghost is your is your keeper. If you try to keep your eye from pornography, the Holy Ghost is your keeper. If you try to be faithful to your spouse, the Holy Ghost is your keeper. If you got to stop lying and gossiping and coming adultery and fornication, all those things, my friend, the Holy Ghost is your keeper. Because the Bible says, unto him that's able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless, the Holy Ghost is your keeper. What can wash my sins away? Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. They overcome him by the blood. And they love not their life unto death. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, this person, oh God, right now, as they watch in this video, oh God, give them, oh God, a conviction. Give them a conscience. Give them concern. And let them confess, let them cry out and say, what must I do to be saved? Oh God, give them, oh God, a hope, hallelujah, the hope for the future. The future is not on earth, the future is in heaven. Oh God, let them miss hell and invite them to heaven. Oh God, have your way right now, Jesus. We need you like never before, God. Oh, God, we need you more in the 21st century like today. Today you hear his voice harden not your heart. Oh, God, give us a start. Give us your salvation. Give us your sovereignty. Give us, oh, God, what you say to us, oh, God. Let us live and not die. Oh, God, we thank you. We praise you. We lift you up, oh God. We thank you. It could have been the other way. But Lord, we thank you. Oh God. In your name I pray. Amen. If you say that prayer, welcome. Welcome. I say welcome. So what you ought to do, you ought to ask God to, to bless you, to find your church. And get baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. And God will give you his relationship and he will give you the Holy Ghost. Until then, may God bless you richly. And don't forget to subscribe to my video and put the notification button. Yes, that button right there. The button right there. Sign, Lord to God, subscribe to my video so I can travel to your city to preach the adulterated gospel of Jesus Christ. So I can go to the foreign country for those people that are afraid to preach, to reach, hallelujah, to teach the gospel. So I thank you for your subscription and keep on subscribing to me. Tell your friend, tell your neighbor. It's a man that tell it like it is. He's not afraid of the government. He's not afraid of Congress. He's not afraid, my friend, because the Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of a sound mind. So I thank you, glory to God, for subscribing to my video. Until then, may God bless you richly is my prayer.